thank you for sitting down with us, uh, or me. <laughs> Um, you. <laughs> you have come become kind of a rising star recently. Like uh, you're everywhere. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to ask how exactly you became involved in this project. Because I assume you're probably pretty busy right now. I became uh, involved in this project just because I'm everywhere. <laughs> so I, I turned up here. <laughs> no, you know, um, Blake was attached to the project for a long time, as well as Harrison Ford, and um, only a couple of weeks before they started shooting, they still hadn't found, thank God for me, um, <laughs> my character, and, um, or an actor to play the character. And uh, I read the script, I instantly loved this idea of a woman not aging and seeing her journey through all these different decades, and, um, you know, the opportunity to play the man who, who, who breaks through the walls that she has uh, put up around herself. Uh, you know, I thought, I thought it would be great. Yeah. You know, and sometimes, you know, it felt like the right time yeah. to make a romantic movie. <laughs> Insert yourself into that exactly. genre. Yes. Um, it's, it's an unusual movie in the fact that it's not what you would typically see in a romantic, immortal movie. It's, it's told very differently than you would expect uh -huh. um, versus, you know, flashbacks versus just going, you know, in time through the ages. I yes. mean, um, what did you think about the, the director and how the vision ended up coming to fruition? Well, I kind of sensed very early on that um, he had a very strong sense for that, for, for, for the magical element in the story and, 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 and an idea or a sensibility for, of, of how to kind of translate that into um, the movie visually as well, you know, um, between him, Lee Toland Krieger, yeah. the director, and our... Um, uh, our, our DP, uh, David Lanzenberg, I, f I felt like they, they found a beautiful way of telling the story and, and really found a way to enhance yeah. whatever, whatever we're doing. You know? um, have you ever been so desperate to go after a woman as this guy? Oh, I've been, <laughs> I've been more desperate. <laughs> that was not so far of a stretch for me. At all. It took, me, it took me five years to convince my wife to, okay. to, to you know, to, to uh, get together with me. So I he goes after her big guess. time. It's like, dude, get the hint, but he keeps going <laughs> for it. Yeah, but this woman is different, you know. Yeah. She's special. I mean, Ellis is the kind of guy who has it all, right? And, yeah. Um, he's young, successful, an entrepreneur, and philanthropist and but he hasn't found true love yet mm -hmm. and uh, I, I guess when he meets her he's just he knows yeah that uh, like he says you know life doesn't make sense without her yeah it's a great ending to the film as well um, <clears throat> Stepping away from Age of Adeline, uh, you are involved in an, a favorite project of mine, and you think I'm going to say Game of Thrones, but no. I think no. you're going to say Game of Thrones. I'm going to say the young, say Vi young Victoria. Oh, wow. That is one of my favorite films ever. Um, so I much. was wondering if, just for me, if you could speak a little bit about your experience on that film. Um, so, well, <laughs> thanks. But it's funny. It's been a while since we shot that, but the yeah. project was very dear to me, too. Um, that was probably 10 years ago that, that I worked on The Young Victoria. We shot it in London. I was still living in Amsterdam at the time. And it marked, for me, it was one of the first projects. Maybe it's, it was actually my first international project. Oh, really? Project. Yeah. Um, it was The Young Victoria and later a couple of other productions in the UK that eventually, uh, you know, kind of inspired me to, yeah. to, to make the, the leap across the pond yeah. and come here. Yeah, that's a and then, Do you realize that the, the, the director of The Young Victoria is the same director as Wild? Oh, really? And I, of course, you know, I, I, I worked on Wild a little yeah. bit in a supporting role, but um, it was very nice to be reunited oh, with, wow. uh, with him, with Jean-Marc Vallée. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank you. <laughs>
Delta can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's like, don't even try to bite the sun. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.